Adding integers is the process of finding the sum of two or more integers. It may result in an increase or a decrease in value depending on whether the integers are positive or negative or a mixture. The addition of integers is an arithmetic operation performed on integers with the same sign or with different sign to find the sum. Let us learn more about adding integers in this video. There are certain rules to be followed to add two or more integers. Integers are complete numbers that do not have fractional parts. It includes positive integers, zero, at negative integers. The rules for the addition of integers can be understood with the help of the table given below. So ito yung table na ipapakita ko sa inyo. Pero let's emphasize the following topics or the following rules. First is the integer sign of positive and positive. Kapag ka parehas positive yan, the answer sign must be a positive sign. And ang operation na gagamitin natin is add. For example, we have 4 plus 6. And that is equal to 10. Okay? Since 4 is a positive integer and 6 is a positive integer, then ang answer sign natin is positive. At ang gagawin natin dyan, ang operation is a positive. Or add. Okay? So 4 plus 6 is equal to 10. Basic addition lang siya. So, tandaan nyo yung rule na to, no? When we add two numbers or integers with the same sign, we add their absolutes or absolute values and attach the common sign with the sum. So, add po natin yung absolute values and attach lang natin yung answer sign dun sa sum. Okay? That is the first rule of addition of integers or first case. Next. Let's try more. Ito naman, yung pangalawa, is the integer sign na negative, negative. Okay? Kapag pinag-add natin yung negative sa negative, the answer sign is a negative. Ang operation na gagamitin natin since parehas po ang sign from the rule is addition. Okay? So, for example, we have negative 3 plus negative 4. So, that is equal to negative 7. So, paano nangyari yun? Since si negative 3 ay negative integers, si 4 ay negative integers din, ikokopihin lang po natin yung kanilang ang sign. And then, we will add the absolute values of the numbers. So, we have 3 plus 4, that is 7. Integer sign of positive plus negative. Ito depende. Okay? Sabi sa rule, Adding two integers with different sign is done by subtracting the va absolute values and then attaching the sign of the number with a greater absolute value. So dito, ang greater absolute value natin is positive. Yun natin is positive. So ang answer sign natin is a positive. So ang operation na gagamitin natin dito ay subtraction dahil magkaiba po ang kanilang sign. For example, 16 plus negative 7. So, that's gonna be 9. Pero paano nangyari yun? 16 is the positive integer. 7 is a negative integer. Which one is greater? The greater is 16. Then, ang gagawin natin, isosubtract natin yung kanilang absolute value. So, 16 minus the absolute value of negative 7 is 7. 16 minus 7 is equal to 9. And the answer sign must be positive. Okay, so that is the third cases. And what about the last case? So dito, ang integer sign naman natin ay magkaiba rin. Pero this time, ang mas malaki ay negative integer. Okay, so ang sabi rin dito, iulitin ko lang yung rule, no? Adding two integers with different signs is done by subtracting the absolute values and then attaching the sign of a number with a greater absolute value. So, identify nga natin kung alin ba dito yung greater na absolute value. Anong sign? Yes, that is negative. So, the answer sign is negative and the operation gagamitin natin is subtraction. For example, 5 plus negative 11. 
So dito, ang mas malaking number is negative 11. So ang sign is negative. So answer sign natin is negative. And kukunin po natin yung absolute value ng negative 11, which is 11. Then so subtract natin. So 5 minus 11, that's gonna be 6. And ang answer sign natin is negative. So we have negative 6. Okay? That is the four cases or four rules. So in this particular example, we will add the integers using a number line. So we have 4 plus 3 for our first example. What's going to be the, uh, the, the, the sum of these two numbers? So dito, meron tayong first number, 4 muna, positive 4. Since iyan ay positive, pupunta tayo sa right. Kung ang, ang number naman natin ay negative, papunta yan sa left. Okay, so dito may positive 4 tayo, move tayo ng apat na beses to the right. 1, 2, 3, 4. Laging tatandaan ng starting point natin ay 0. Okay, so naglakad tayo ng apat na beses to the right. Diyan tayo natapos, sa tapat ng 4 o sa taas ng 4. Tapos, meron pa dito ang isa pang number. Itong number na to ay 3, and that is positive. So since positive yan, move ulit tayo ng Tatlong beses sa right. This time, ang starting point natin is 4. So, 1, 2, and 3. Okay? So, nasaan ang ating stopping place? Sa, ang stopping place natin ay si 7. So, kung saan natapat itong arrowhead at kung saan natapos ang arrowhead natin dito nung, nung nag-move tayo. So, therefore, 4 plus 3 is gonna be 7. Okay? Kung i-visualize natin yan using number line, ganito po siya i-visualize. Okay? So that is the first example. Let's try more. So subukan naman natin yung isa pang, uh, isa pang given. Paano naman kapag ganito yung given natin? So we have 7 plus negative 6. So this time, magkaiba na po yung kanilang sign. Okay? So, una, unahin natin tong 7. So, since 7 is a positive integer, therefore, pupunta tayo dun sa right side. So, we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, and 7. So, ito po yung stopping place natin. Tapos, mag a tayo ng negative 6. Paano naman kapag yan ay negative 6? What will happen? So, we will move 6 places naman to the left. So, kung meron tayo ditong positive, dito meron naman tayong negative. So, meron tayong 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Okay? So, ito yung starting point natin. At dito po tayo natatapos. Okay? So, then, saan po tayo na-stop? Na-stop po tayo sa tapat ng 1. Okay? So, therefore, 7 plus negative 6 is equal to positive 1. Okay? Sige. Next naman. Try naman natin yung iba pang example. What about this third example? This time, we have negative 4 plus negative 4. So, ngayon, dalawa na po yung negative natin. So, paano naman natin to ha? Paano natin hanapin yung sum ng dalawang negative? So, start tayo from zero. Okay? So, nag-start tayo ay zero. Ito yung starting point. Mag-move tayo ng apat na beses this time to the left. So, one, two, three, and four. So, natapos tayo dito sa negative four. Ngayon, may isa pang negative four. Mag-move ulit tayo ng apat na beses to the left ulit. So, meron tayong 1, 2, 3, 4. Okay? So, saan kaya tayo matatapos dito? Natapos tayo sa negative 8. So, ibig sabihin, ang stopping place natin ay negative 8. Ang sagot sa negative 4 plus negative 4 is negative 8. Okay? So, that is how you add two integers using a number line. So, tandaan nyo lang, no, begin kayo sa zero. Mag-move kayo sa mga places depende sa sign ng integers. Kapag ka-positive, punta po kayo sa right. Kapag ka-negative, punta po kayo sa left.
Okay? So, that is our topic. Subtracting integers is the process of finding the difference between two integers. It may result in an increase or a decrease in value, depending on whether the integers are positive or negative or a mix. The subtraction of integers is an arithmetic operation performed on integers with the same sign or with different signs to find the difference. Let us learn more about subtracting integers in this video. In this lesson, you will be able to perform and solve two objectives. So we have to perform subtraction and integers and also kailangan ninyong matutunan kung paano mag-solve ng problems involving integers. So the only thing that you need to remember is this rule. Okay? To subtract an integer, add its opposite. Okay? So first Ituturo ko muna sa inyo kung paano mag-subtract ng integers using an algebra tiles. Okay? So, I want you to remember this one. Kapag itong positive, itong symbol na to or tile na to, nag-represent yan sa positive 1. At ito naman, yung tile na to, nag-represent sa negative 1. Therefore, the zero pairs, we have positive 1 minus negative 1 or negative tile. Uh, that is equal to 0. Okay? Ang tawag sa kanila ay 0 pairs. Moving on. Okay. So, using algebra tiles, let us perform this particular given. Negative 5 minus negative 3. Okay? So, una, alamin muna natin yung integers dito. We have negative 5. Okay? The integer is negative. Dito naman sa subtrahend, we have uh, negative 3. Okay, this integer is a negative. Okay, so first is magpapakita tayo ng limang negative tiles. Okay, so we have five negative tiles here. Then magsusubtract tayo or mag-aalis tayo ng tatlong negative tiles. So inalis natin itong tatlo na to. And then, aalamin natin kung ilan ang natira. Ilan nga ba ang natira? Ang natira, one and two. And this is a negative tiles. Okay, so therefore, we have negative 2 remaining here. Okay, so kung babasahin natin yung ating question, negative 5 minus negative 3, that is equal to negative 2. When we are using this algebra tiles, okay? So, next. Okay, so let's try more. So we have 6 minus negative 3. In this case, nilagay ko na po yung anim na tiles dito. So, meron tayong anim na positive tiles because we have 6 here. Okay? Next, we will add 3 pairs of negative, uh, 3 pairs of positive and negative tiles. Okay? So, mag-add tayo ng 3 pairs. So, ito yung unang pair natin. Positive and negative. Pangalawang pair, this one. At pangatlong pair, ito. Okay? Next, after that, we will subtract 3 negative Tiles. Kasi dito sa subtrahend natin, meron tayong negative 3. So, magtatanggal tayo ng tatlong negative tiles. Okay? Tatanggalin natin itong negative tiles. Okay? At ang matitira, yun yung bibilangin natin dahil yun yung sagot. Okay? So, the answer would be 9. Because we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Remaining positive tiles. Okay, so ang sagot sa 6 minus 3 or negative 3 is equal to positive 9. Okay, let's try another one. This may be the last example for the algebra tiles. We have negative 7 minus 4. Okay, so we have negative 7 dito. Ipapakita natin muna using a number or algebra tile. So we have negative 7 or 7 tiles na negative. Also, mag add tayo ng apat na pairs ng algebra tiles. So, we have apat na pairs. So, this one is the first pair, second pair, three, third, and fourth pair. Okay. So, meron tayo ditong apat na pairs. Next is, isusubtract natin yung apat na, isusubtract natin yung apat na positive tiles. Because, 
the subtrend here is a positive integer. So, tatanggalin natin dito yung positive tiles. So, meron tayong 1, 2, 3, 4 na tinanggal. At bibilangin natin yung mga natirang tiles. Ilan kaya yung natira? Ang natira ay 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 1. So, 11 tiles remaining here. So, hindi yan 11 tiles lang. Yan po ay negative 11 dahil yan po ay negative tiles. So, the answer of se negative 7 minus 4 is equal to negative 11. And that's gonna be the the process of um, subtracting integers using a using an algebra tiles. So, let's have here a problem solving tip. Add zero pairs when the sign of the minuend and the subtrahend are different. Okay? So, in this case, papakita ko naman sa inyo yung paggamit ng, ng number line naman sa subtracting integers. Let's get to it. So, we will use a number line to subtract the following integers. So, let's start with this first example. 3 minus negative 2. In all cases, I want you to remember this word. Change the sign of the subtrahend, then proceed to addition. So, ang subtrahend dito ay si negative 2. So, kung dating negative yan, magiging positive yan dito. At itong subtraction na to, magiging addition yan. So, change the sign of the subtrahend, then proceed to addition. So, meron tayo dito ang 3. Uh, let us copy the 3. Itong minus dito, magiging plus. And then, ang subtrahend natin na negative, magiging positive. So, meron tayong 3 plus 2. So, change the sign of the subtrahend, then proceed to addition. Next, we will draw a number line dito. Okay? So, hanapin lang natin yung 3 plus 2 using a number line. So, dito meron tayong 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Okay. So, umpisa natin dito muna sa 0. Ang starting point natin ay si 0. So, magmumove tayo ng tatlong beses to the right because 3 is a positive integer. So, meron tayong 1, 2, and 3. Okay? So, natapos tayo sa 3. But wait, there's more. Meron tayong 2. Okay? Si 2 ay positive. So, magmumove din tayo ng Tatlong be dalawang beses papunta sa right din. So, meron tayong, ang starting point natin ay positive 3. Magkukontinue lang tayo ng dalawang beses. 1 and 2. Okay. So, saan kaya tayo natapos? Natapos tayo, ang stopping place natin ay si 5. Therefore, the answer in this particular given is positive 5. Also, 3 minus negative 2 is positive 5 as well. Okay. And that's the final answer. And that is our first given. Okay? So, let us try more. Okay. In this uh, second example, we have negative 2 minus negative 4. Okay? Once again, change the sign of the subtrahend. The subtrahend is negative 4. Then proceed to addition. So, meron tayong Kokopihin dito na negative 2 lang muna. Okay? Change the sign of the subtrahend. Dating negative 4, magiging positive 4 na siya. Then proceed to addition. Itong, itong minus na to or symbol, magiging addition yan. Okay? So, drawing ulit tayo ng number line dito sa baba. Starting point is 0. We have negative 1, negative 2, negative 3. Negative 4, positive 1, 2, 3, and 4. Okay, let's start with negative 2. Since negative 2 is a negative integer, so magmove tayo ng dalawang beses papunta sa left. Okay, so starting point is 0, 1, and ne negative 2. Okay, so natapos tayo kay negative 2, pero may isa pang integer which is the positive 4. So, magmove naman tayo papunta sa right ng apat na beses. Ang starting point natin is negative 2. Okay? Move tayo. 
3, and 4. Okay? So, saan siya natapos? Natapos tayo kay positive 2. So, kay positive 2 tayo natapos. Therefore, ang sagot dito, negative 2 plus 4 is positive 2. Okay? Also, negative 2 minus negative 4 is also a positive 2 as well. Okay? So, that is how we subtract a uh, two integers using a number line. Okay? So, let's try more for us to, to understand the lesson well. Okay, let us erase this one. Okay, for our last example, we have negative 4 minus 3. Okay, so first, sabi ko nga sa inyo, change the sign of the subtrahend, then proceed to addition. The subtrahend is 3. Okay, and 3 is a positive integer. So, meron tayong negative 4. Kopihin muna natin sa baba. Okay, so si 3 dito, magiging negative, lagyan natin ng parenthesis, magiging negative 3 siya. Okay? At yung subtraction, magiging positive. Okay? So, change the sign of the subtrahend, then proceed to addition. Okay. So, let's draw a number line here. In this case, we'll start at 0. So, we have negative 1, negative 2, negative 3, negative 4, and positive 1, positive 2, positive 3. Okay, let's start with the first integer, which is negative 4. Dahil yan ay negative, magmove tayo ng apat na beses papunta sa left side. So, meron tayong starting point na 0, bilang tayo ng apat, 1, 2, negative 3, negative 4. Okay, that is the first Integer. So, ang stopping place natin ay negative 4. But wait, there's more. Meron pa tayong negative 3. Okay? So, mukhang mag-extend ang ating number line. So, meron tayong negative 5, negative 6, and negative 7. Okay? So, kung meron ka pang negative 3 dyan, at dahil yan ay negative integer, mag-start tayo kay negative 4. Okay? Bilang tayo ng, negative, ng tatlong beses papunta sa left. 1, 2, and 3. Okay? So, therefore, our stopping place is negative 7. Yung saan siya natapat. Therefore, also, the final answer here is negative 7. Negative 4 plus negative 3 is negative 7. And negative 4 or negative 4 minus 3 is negative 7. Okay? That's how easy how to subtract 2 integer using a number line. Pero ang kailangan nyo na matutunan dito is how to add a, how to add integers. Okay? That is a basic knowledge. Then we will use some rule of subtraction of integers, change the sign of the subtrahend, then proceed to addition. Okay? That's it. The multiplication of integers are the basic operations performed on integers. Multiplication of integers is the same as the repetitive addition, which means adding an integer a specific number of times. For example, 4 times 3 means adding 4 3 times, like 4 plus 4 plus 4 is equal to 12. Let us learn more about the multiplication of integers in this video. In this lesson, you will be able to perform multiplication on integers and also solve problems involving integers. So let's get through it. So we have rules in multiplying integers. Tatlong bagay na kailangan nating matandaan bago tayo magmultiply ng integers. Okay? So we have S, D, O or 0. So S stands for same sign. So what does it mean? When you multiply two numbers with the same sign, the product is positive. For example, itong integer na to na positive, i-multiply mo sa parehas na positive integer. The 
the answer would be a positive integer. Okay? Same goes the other way. Negative times negative, the product would be a positive. So basically, same sign. Kapag pinag-multiply natin, that is a positive. Tandaan natin yung first rule. Pangalawang rule, we have D. D stands for different sign. So when we say different sign, when you multiply two numbers with different signs, the product is negative. So like this one, a positive integer being multiplied to a negative integer, ang sagot ay negative integer. Ganun din kapag pinagbaliktad natin sila. We have negative, we have negative, times a positive. Yes, that is a negative uh, answer. Okay, or negative integer. So, different sign, kapag pinagmultiply, palaging negative ang sagot. Okay, and lastly, the zero. Ganito lang yung zero, no? Kapag yung zero, minultiply mo kay any number, the answer would be zero. Ganun din kapag pinagbaliktad natin. Ang any number, kapag minultiply mo sa zero, ang sagot ay palaging zero. So, that is the third rule. Okay? So, moving on. Okay, let's try this first example. Multiply. Multiply 6 times 9. And yes, okay? So, alam natin. Alam ko na alam nyo yung sagot dyan. Pero let us use the multiplication of integers for this uh, example. Okay? So, pipili lang tayo ng, ng, ng isa sa tatlo dito. No? So, una, identify muna natin kung anong uri ng integers ang meron si 6. Ito ba ay positive or negative? Yes, that is a positive. This one is also a positive integer. So, alin siya dito? Ang pipiliin natin, dahil pare silang positive, ay yung same sign. So, pipiliin natin si S. Okay? Alam natin kapag kakinuha natin ang product ng dalawang sign na parehas, ang sagot ay palaging positive. At yung pinakahuling gagawin natin dyan, no? Since the product is positive because the sign of the factors is the same, are the same, okay? Imo-multiply na lang natin silang dalawa. So 6 times 9 is equal to 54. I put positive uh, sign here para ma-emphasize ko na positive ang sagot natin dahil parehas ang kanilang sign. Okay? So that is the first example. Let us try more. Subukan naman natin itong given na to. So, negative 7 times negative 6. Okay? First step, identify natin muna kung anong uri ng integer ang meron yung first term natin. So, negative 7, yan ba ay positive or negative? Very good. That is negative integer. Ito ay negative integer as well. Okay? Parehas ba sila or magkaiba? So, since pares po silang negative integer, ang pipiliin po natin ay yung same sign pa rin. At i-expect natin na ang sagot ay positive. From the rule, no, since the product is positive, no, because the signs of the factors are the same. So, positive ang sagot natin dahil parehas po ang kanilang uh, sign. So, ang gagawin na lang natin dyan, multiply nyo na lang yung dalawang Number. So, 7 times 6 is equal to 42. This one is a positive 42. Pero pwede nyo nang tanggalin ng positive, no? Kapag ilalagay nyo na po yung final answer. So, that will be our, our final answer in this given. Okay? So, napakadali lang, no? So, let's try the third example. Okay? The third example is this one. Negative 8 times positive 5. Okay. So, negative 8 times positive 5, tignan natin yung sign ni, neg uh, ni, ni first term. So, this one is a negative integer. This one is a positive integer. So, therefore, yan ay magkaiba or different sign. At ang sabi sa rule, kapag ka magkaiba daw ang kanilang sign, palaging negative daw po ang kanilang sagot. Okay? So, the product is negative because the signs of the factors 
are different. Okay? Ito ay negative, ito ay positive. So, try na natin i-multiply silang dalawa. So, 8 times 5. So, that would be 440. Right? At ang sagot natin ay negative 40 dahil magkaiba ang kanilang sign. Okay? So, I know, no? This would be our last example for this particular given. So, we have negative 2. Medyo liitan natin ng konti. Negative 2 times negative 3 times positive 5. So, paano kaya yan, no? Tatlo na po yung terms natin. So, ang gagawin natin dyan, first is, imumultiply muna natin itong dalawa. Okay? So, negative 2 times negative 3. Negative 2 is a negative integer. Negative 3 is a negative integer. Tignan natin kung anong magagawa natin dyan. Negative 2 times negative 3 is a positive 6. Same sign po sila, right? So, positive ang sagot. Next is, imumultiply natin yung natira. So, 6 times 5, since pares din po ang kanilang sign, so, expect natin ang sagot ay positive din, right? So, 6 times 5, basically that is positive 30. And that should be our final answer. The division of integers are the basic operation performed on integers. Division of integers means equal grouping or dividing an integer into a specific number of groups. For example, we have negative 6 divided by 2. So, ang ibig sabihin lang yan, yung negative 6, i-divide natin into two equal parts. Just like we did here in our, uh, in our algebra tiles. Din yung anim na negative algebra tiles, divide natin into two equal parts, which result in negative 3. Let us learn more about the division of integers in this video. So, our main objectives in this lesson, you will be able to perform division on integers, also solve problems on integer, and solve problems using PEMDAS. Since natutunan na natin yung iba pang fundamental operation on integers. Okay? Moving on. Negative 7 being multiplied to 5, that is negative 35. Negative 35 divided by 5 is negative 7. So, anong ibig sabihin ng process na to? Ano ang na-observe ninyo sa mga numbers na nandito? Based on our observation, the multiplication here and the division here, since parehas na naman ang number, no? ang ibig sabihin lang yan, sila ay inverse. Magkabaliktad lang sila. No? Itong negative 7, pag pinag-multiply sa 5, that is negative 35. Kung gusto mo lang ibalik sa original number, i-divide mo sa 5. Babalik ka sa negative 7. So, let's dig deeper in this topic. So, we have three rules. Same sign, different signs, and 0. S-D-O. So, when, when two numbers with the same sign are divided, the quotient is always positive. So, we have positive divided by positive. That is positive. Negative divided by negative is always equal to positive. Same sign, palaging positive po ang output. Next, different sign. When two numbers with different signs are divided, the quotient is always negative. So, for example, we have positive integer here. Divided by negative integer, that is negative. Negative integer divided by a positive integer, yan po ay negative. So basically speaking, different sign, negative results. Okay? Last, the rules for dividing zero by a non-zero number and for division by zero, it still hold. So we have zero divided by any number that is always equal to zero. However, any number divided by 0 is undefined. Okay? So, may pinagkaiba lang sila ng konti sa multiplication. Okay? Kapag ang number, any number, dinivide mo kay 0 dito, 
ang sagot ay undefined. Pero kapag ang zero dinivide kay any number, the answer would be always zero. Let's try some examples. So, we need to find this, or we need to find the quotient of the following. Okay? Pag sinabing quotient, students, that is a division. Synonymous sa division yan. Okay? So, let's try first example, 48 divided by 8. In this first example, ginawa ko muna siyang ganito. Pero pwede niyong isulat na 48 divided over 8 yan. Okay? So, dito muna, let us use this format. So, identify natin kung ano ang sign ni 48. The sign of 48 is a positive, right? Ang sign naman ni 8 ay positive then. So, ang ibig sabihin lang dito, ang gagamitin natin na rule ay yung same sign. Dahil pare silang positive. So, ang ina-expect natin na sagot dito ay positive integer, right? So, we have positive integer here. Ang kailangan na natin gawin dito ay i-divide si 48 kay 8. So, 48 divided by 8, that's gonna be 6. So, the answer would be positive 6. Sabi ko nga sa inyo, kahit hindi nyo naisulat yung positive dito, so, understood na yan na yan po ay positive. So, the answer would be positive 6. So, that's the first example. Let's try more. So, what if we have the second example, negative 40? Gamitin natin ganitong format. Divided by negative 8. So, ano lang ibig sabihin yan? First, the first step is to identify the signs of this two integer. So, anong sign ni 40? That's, that is negative, right? So, ang sign din ni 8 is negative. So, ano ibig sabihin nun? Ang ibig sabihin niyan, ang gagamitin nating rule is same sign ulit. Sabi ko nga sa inyo, kapag same sign, ang gagamitin nating sign ay positive. Pag kinuha yung quotient. So, ang kailangan nyo lang gawin ay i-divide si 40 kay 8. So, 40 divided by 8, that is positive 5. So, basically, negative 40 divided by negative 8, that is positive 5. Okay? That's the second one. So, try naman natin tong given na to. For our third example, 72 divided by negative 9. So, here we have a positive integers or integer, right? And sa denominator, meron tayong negative integers. So, anong ibig sabihin nun? Parehas ba sila ng sign o magkaiba? Yes, very good. That is different sign. So, kapag ganyan, no, ang i-expect natin na sagot ay negative sign. So, the, the, the quotient of these two integers is negative. So, divide na natin, no, 72 divided by 9. That is going to be 8. The answer would be negative 8 because 72 divided by negative 9, different sign, is negative 8. Okay? So, let us try our last and final example here. We have negative 49 divided by positive 7. So, maliwanag na maliwanag na ang sign ni 49 ay negative. Ang sign ni 7 ay positive. So, different sign sila. The answer is negative. Right? So, 49 divided by 7, that's going to be a negative 7. Or negative 49 divided by positive 7 is a negative 7. Okay? So, that is the four, first four examples in this topic. Um, itrain natin ganito. Uh, we will fill in the missing number. So, for example, meron akong ganito, meron akong box dito na box 
divided by a negative 9 equals negative 6. Alamin natin kung ano yung nawawalang numbers or number dyan. Pero kailangan nyo munang malaman na for every division problem, there is a related multiplication problem. So, ganito lang yung technique no, kapag ang nawawala itong numerator natin. So, ang gagawin nyo lang po, yung negative 6 dito, imumultiply nyo lang kay negative 9. Okay? So, we have negative 6 times negative 9. Apply natin yung multiplication of integer rule. Same sign sila. Negative 6 is a negative, negative integer. 9 is a negative integer as well. So, same sign po. So, we have negative 6 times negative 9 that is positive 54. Okay? Therefore, ang nawawalang number dito ay positive 54. Kung gusto nyong i-check, 54 divided by negative 9, that is negative 6. Sabi ko nga sa inyo kanina, sa unang part, the multiplication and division are the inverse. Magkaka magkabaliktad lang sila. No? So, let us try more. So, try natin tong second example na to. Paano naman kapag nawawala ay yung denominator. So, ano kaya yung missing number dito? First, alamin natin kung ano ba ang sign ng sagot. So, ang sign ng sagot is a positive. So, at para maging positive ang sagot, kailangan natin i-apply itong rule na to. So, yung ibig sabihin na to, kung ito ang numerator natin ay negative, expect natin na ang denominator natin, ang sagot ay negative as well. Because negative divided by negative is a positive. Ang hahanapin na lang natin dito, yung number. So, anong number ang pwede natin gamitin dito para maging 5 ang sagot? So, ang gagamitin natin number ay 15. That's gonna be our denominator. Because 75 divided by 15 is equal to 5. And negative divided by negative is equal to positive. So, that is our final answer here. Negative 15 is the missing number.